coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Big picture, my one goal to make every day feel like it's the weekend. I think I'm gonna help achieve that. I'm gonna show you how to make beautiful barbecued wings, really easy to prepare, young, old, everyone in between loves them. I often make this recipe on arrival night when we come to the cottage because it's so simple, but whether you're at the cottage, away for the weekend, or in the city, you'll find you'll have the same great success. It's a real winner of a recipe. One of the keys to the success of this recipe is a really delicious homemade barbecue sauce. You can make this into a large bowl. We're placing one cup of tomato sauce, half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of brown sugar packed, two tablespoons Dijon mustard, one tablespoon cornstarch, and then a teaspoon each garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder. Next, we add half a cup of water, quarter cup of pure Canadian maple syrup, quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, stir everything together. Then we're at stove top, medium sized saucepan, medium heat, add the barbecue sauce to your saucepan, and then we're gonna cook until it bubbles. As soon as it does, stir, reduce to simmer, and then cook for 30 minutes. When you're done, allow it to cool, and then you can transfer it to an attractive container like this until you use it. Barbecue sauce is ready, check, time to make these wonderful wings. Whenever I do something on the barbecue, I always bring whatever it is I'm gonna cook to room temperature. I have four pounds of chicken wings, they're at room temperature. Now I need to make a little seasoning for them into a small bowl, one teaspoon chili powder, teaspoon paprika, and a teaspoon of kosher salt, teaspoon of cumin, add a generous helping of black pepper, stir that together. Now we take our chicken wings, sprinkle a little bit on top, mix it together with your hands, sprinkle a bit more, mix, until all of the seasoning is on the chicken wings. Almost ready to go and cook the wings. I've just turned on the barbecue needs to preheat to 600 degrees, about 315 Celsius. When we get to the barbecue, I like to have a couple of things handy. Long pair of tongs. I have our bowl with barbecue sauce, a basting brush. We have our squeezy bottle of barbecue sauce because I'm gonna be squeezing a little bit of the sauce on at the end. The chopped jalapeno, a little bit of chopped parsley, plus the presentation plate that I'll be serving the wings on. When you're ready to start, lift your lid. It is very hot. Spread your wings out evenly across the top of your grill. Bring the lid down and you're gonna cook for about four to five minutes. Don't go anywhere. You need to stay close to your barbecue for this recipe. We don't want any flare ups. Four minute mark, we lift that lid and now we start to turn our wings. You can see they're already crisping up. As soon as they're all turned evenly spaced, lid goes down again for an additional four minutes. Now when you lift the lid, we grab our basting brush, a tiny bit of the barbecue sauce on each wing. Go nice and slowly, evenly. It's kind of hot, so you might have to go quicker than that. But just go add the little bits of barbecue sauce, ready to continue to turn, baste, turn, and baste. Your chicken wings will take about 10 minutes to fully cook. They'll firm up and they'll get nice and crispy on the outside. When they're done, we have a large stainless bowl, transfer all the wings in, Place your bowl with chicken wings to the side of the barbecue. Any leftover sauce in the bowl, add that in. A squeeze from our squeezy bottle of barbecue sauce. Throw on the jalapeno peppers, toss on the chopped parsley. And then I like to put two sheets of foil on top, seal the top, shake it up a little bit in the bowl. And then we're transferring to a service plate. We're ready to go. When you're ready to serve, we have a homemade coleslaw. Check out our story at Weekend at the Cottage on how to make this delicious salad. I also have a little bit of the barbecue sauce, plus an additional dipping sauce, our blue cheese dip. Click here to watch our one minute city slicker video on this very tasty tangy blue cheese dip. And then in front, a gorgeous plate of perfectly crispy, tangy, fantastic barbecued chicken wings. I can tell you from experience, Mm. All right, perfectly cooked. Mm. I love the flavor of the sauce. A mm. little bit of heat from those jalapeno peppers. This is fantastic. I want to finish this. But before I do, an invitation. Please subscribe to weekendatthecottage.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finally, look for us on one or more of your social media feeds, Pinterest, 
Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Here's to winging it. You're ready. Better get going and enjoy.